Hello, my name is Brad, and this is my video blog for IOR 190. So I'm going to be talking about um, non-practicing entities, more commonly known as patent trolls. So a quick note, uh, the official term is called an NPE, or non-practicing entity, but in layman's terms and what most people know them by are patent trolls. So I want to quickly define kind of what they are and what they do. Um, NPEs are people or a company who buys up the rights to a patent and um, really enforces those patent rights against accused infringers uh, for the purposes of collecting a licensing fee, let's say. But they don't sell or manufacture a product directly related to that certain patent. So in essence, what they do is they buy up a, a, a patent and then they accuse people, maybe multiple people, of infringing that, that patent and then collect a bunch of money, ideally. Um, but patent trolls are very, very dangerous, not only to the company that they're suing, but to the macro economy as a whole. And, and here's why. Um, so I'm going to use a quick example. Let's say you have two companies, company A and company B. And company A sues company B. So company A is the patent troll. And company A sues company B for infringing on one of their, their patents. Um, let's say that company B's product really has nothing or very little to do with company A's patent, though. So in essence, what I'm saying is that there's no need for them to sue them because the patent, the product or the invention that company B has does not infringe on company A's pat on on company A's patent, but they still sue anyway. So even if they lose, they still are consuming company B's time. They're taking them to court. They're costing them a lot of legal fees. In one case I studied, it cost them up to a million dollars in costs, and uh, it can be very dangerous in that sense. But the other thing is, it prevents companies from really innovating because they know that these patent trolls are out there and they don't want to be taken to court. So oftentimes what they'll do is they'll just pay a fee up front to prevent them from going to court. So what a lot of companies like AT&T and Verizon who, who get these patent trolls on them will do is that they'll say, okay, instead of going to court with you, we'll just settle up right now with $5 million. But in the end, uh, they may have won anyway, but they don't want the time and the costs that are associated with going to court. So, um, one thing also that I want to point out with patent trolls is that, um, and one of the problems behind a lot of patents is oftentimes they can be too vague, which is very good for a patent troll. Because, for instance, with a software patent, um, Yale researchers, so researchers at Yale University, found that the government is issuing more than 40,000 software patents each year. And the problem with a lot of these patents is that they're very, very vague. So when you put them in the hands of a bad actor like a patent troll, then they can be applied across the board to a lot of different companies. And a lot of different companies fall under this, this purview of being attacked. So what I think uh, Congress and other others are trying to do right, right now to sort of aid this is they're trying to make laws around making um, patents being more specific. And one of these laws is called the Innovation Act. Uh, recently started by Bob Woodland, a U.S. congressman. What he's trying to do is he's trying to update patent laws, discourage the frivolous patent litigation, and make patent trolling much, much more difficult. And he really does this through um, making patents having to be more specific so it's harder to apply them to a lot of different companies. Um, so I just want to wrap it up with saying that patent trolls are um, very prevalent in our society, but they're also very dangerous. And uh, they pose a threat to not only the company that they're suing, but to the other companies around them. And they really pose a threat at the end of the day to innovation as a whole. So thank you for watching and uh, go Bears.